What's up fam, I hope you guys are having a blast. I just want to pop in for a bit and talk about this new information drop we got from Organic Dinosaur once again. So it's the mini preview for episodes 228, 229, and 230. I want to get into it, I'm gonna go through it one by one just as we did for the other video I did on the titles for the episodes, which lack the information needed to kinda go into the episodes themselves and kinda like break it down. But in this video we have the actual information or the synopsis for the episode itself. So we're gonna start with episode 228 which is Kawaki a path towards being a shinobi. In order for Kawaki to become a genin, it's been decided that he will take a special graduation exam that is different from the typical one that is administered by the Ninja Academy. If Kawaki is able to execute and complete a D-rank mission, it would confer him with the equivalent qualifications. He immediately joins in another team's mission, but then. So this is clearly stepping into manga territory because if we go back into the manga, we can see the scene where Boruto gives Kawaki his headband, but Based on that scene, we know that Koaki does not successfully become a genin or he would have had an headband for himself. So this episode is really for anime only viewers because they don't know what happens in the manga. So anime only viewers will be the ones speculating on whether or not he's going to get it or not. But if you're a manga viewer, you should know already that he's not successful because he's not a genin in the manga and the manga is ahead of the anime. So unless they make some major change to what happens in the continuity of Boruto, um, we can assume that Kawaki will fail this mission. So moving into episode 229 which is titled Violating Orders. Kawaki is anxious about not doing well on an exam which is a test that would fulfill the requirements needed in order to become a genin. The Nandaime then announces that Kawaki will be assigned to a particular mission alongside Shikada and Chocho, he will be escorting Mozuku, someone who has come from the Lull country island. Or you can just say the land of calm or Nagi or Kuni. So that's what's mentioned in the snippet. I'm just reading it to you guys. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> but yeah, the rest says that they will be guarding Mozuku on his way back to his hometown. So this is really giving me early Naruto vibes. And I'm talking about like early Naruto, like the original Naruto series. When you had the Land of the Waves arc and you had Kakashi and Team 7, Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura really guiding the Traveler, protecting him. They had the bridge scene, you had Zabuza, you had all of this like beautiful shonen history going on and I'm just really looking forward to it. Like this might seem like um, a boring arc, it might be boring like when you get to it but like it looks promising, like it brings us back to the roots of Naruto and that's why I'm really excited for it, you know, I hope like it looks promising and I hope it does well and I'm really looking forward to see how Kawaki interacts with these characters, right? We've seen him interact with Shikada before but just like the rest of the team, like I just want to see him interact with regular people, you know, we saw that interaction with Shinki, <laughs> like let's, let's not go into that because I actually wanted to make an entire video on how was that even possible like what happened there and people are saying that Shinki is now stronger than Kawaki and all that lovely stuff and I'm saying like that's nonsense Kawaki obviously wasn't going all out we have to remember that Kawaki is also 85% Otsutsuki which also modifies his endurance that yeah I'm not gonna go into it but like that's a separate video that I want to make but yeah I don't know maybe I'll make it maybe not who cares but yeah, this video now we're gonna talk about the episode so yeah looking forward to this episode and I hope they do well by the characters so moving on to episode 230 which is titled A Wish. Now I recently theorized that this could be Ada's introduction and I was dead wrong obviously so I don't want you guys going into the comment section and saying oh you were wrong I know <laughs> it's fine but uh yeah I'm looking forward to this one too because it says that Chocho has been attacked by a mysterious ninja. That's really interesting. So we're getting a new character. Possibly, maybe not. We could. It could be a situation like remember that episode back in Naruto where Kakashi transformed himself into somebody else and gave the team trouble. And then, like in the episode, the final parts of the episode, we saw Kakashi's face for the first time. Like it could be a situation like this. It could even be Kakashi. We don't know for sure. But yeah, it says that. And in addition, the package that Mozuku has been carefully carrying around with him has gone stolen. Even though Shikadai decides that they should head back to the village for a while, Kawaki and Mosuko, who wants to get his package back by any means necessary, decide to go in pursuit of the mysterious ninja. Now, 
One big problem I have with this is how are they allowing Kawaki to leave the village? That's something I don't really understand. You know, like I'm really interested to see him like interact with everybody and kind of mold into the story itself. But uh, like, how? Why is he outside of the village if they know that Code is looking for him? Because if you go back, this is not even manga territory. This happened in the anime itself. Like Amado explained to them that Code is out there and he's probably looking for revenge for everybody involved in Ishiki's demise, which Kawaki is one of them, like he's the main target, or maybe it's Naruto, possibly, but yeah, Kawaki is a main target as well, so it's kind of weird that they'd allow him to lead the village, like Ko could just come and snatch, snatch him up at any given time, they wouldn't know because they're not there. Now the only way I see this actually making sense is if they have like high level Jonins, like I'm not talking like father Jonins that are no name, I'm talking like regular like main characters, sub main characters, whatever you want to call them, like Ina Chikasho or Temari or you know Sasuke in the background, you have Naruto and his clone is in the office, like just have like some high level characters watching him, you know, like just allowing him to lead the village on a mission, like that's... That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> and if you link it back to the manga where Kawaki is basically on house arrest and they're not allowed to leave the village, like it, it just doesn't make sense that they would be like cooped up in the house with somebody watching them to detect whenever whenever they leave and they shouldn't leave the place without reporting and all that lovely stuff. Like for it to get to that point, like what would happen over the space of time, like in this like art that we're going through that would warrant them like being in that situation you know maybe as i theorized in my prior video we get to see boroshiki once again or we get like some minor attack from the Kara members or somebody like something happens something drastic happens in the anime only section of this series where it prompts them to like lock them down in the village and prevent them from leaving which is why kawaki felt the need to trick them and leave a shadow clone to leave you know so i don't know like that's just something that's really bugging me i don't know why they would allow him to leave the village if they knew that that would put him in danger you know but that's basically the synopsis we got here for all the episodes that are coming up and i'm thinking that we're gonna get more from organic dinosaur later on so we can get to like knowing know more about the episodes later on and once i have them i'll report them to you guys so i'll make the video we'll post it up we can discuss it together but yeah these episodes look promising and really intriguing as well so they don't look boring on a like on paper you know they don't look boring they look very promising but the execution is key so i hope that the animators i hope that the storyboard writers like like execute these episodes properly because they could be really good they're not going to be mind-blowing obviously but they could be really good if they're done properly you know so i'm really looking forward to it and i hope they spend the time to get it done you know but uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section, drop a like, you know, do you think like we're spot on here on our, on our analysis of the episodes that are upcoming? And uh, once again, hats off to Organic Dinosaur providing this information for us so we can go through it. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time when you have more information. So uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.